welcome back students let's discuss another important topic of my biomolecules that is enzymes so what are enzymes enzymes are the proteins that catalyze catalyze means that increase the rate of reaction so they are the proteins that catalyze the chemical reaction without consume without consumed in it that means what happens enzymes are synthesized by living cells but retain their catalytic action even when extracted from the living cells so you can say uh, in the living cells the reaction at a normal body temperature you can say pressure due to the presence of specialized uh, macromolecular proteinaceous substance the reaction gets accelerated and they are also called as biocatalyst which alter the rate of reactions without getting used in themselves so basically enzymes are the biocatalyst which alter the rate of biochemical reactions without getting used themselves enzymatic reactions in enzymatic reactions the molecule at the beginning of the process are called as substrate and the enzyme convert them into different molecules called as products that means enzymes combine with substrate and gives out the product and the site of enzyme to which substrate is bind and is converted into product is called as active site so if suppose this is the substrate if suppose here the enzyme get bind so this site is called as active site of enzyme where this enzymatic reaction takes place okay so first of all what are enzymes we have studied that enzymes are the biocatalyst which increase the rate of any biochemical or you can say the chemical reactions without getting involved in it now let's see the classes of enzyme first class is the hydrolases hydrolases the general term for enzymes that catalyze the hydrolytic cleavage reaction that means these enzyme catalyze the hydrolysis of various uh, you can say uh, compounds you can say of uh, carbohydrates like ester ether peptide glycosidic bond carbon carbon bonds etc next comes the isomerases isomerases catalyze the interconversion of the geo geometric or optical as well as a positional isomer so uh, name itself says that means they will catalyze the rearrangement of bonds within the single molecule next comes the lyases lyases that catalyze the two harbor uh, two substrates at the expense of atp sorry uh, lyases add or remove the group to form the double bonds not by hydrolysis that means they catalyze a non hydrolytic cleavage for example the aldolase or fumarase next comes the ligases ligases help in joining the two molecules that means they ligate or you can say join the two substrate at the expense of atp hydrolysis example for this can be acetyl coa carboxylase next class comes the oxidoreductase oxidoreductase these are the enzymes which obviously catalyze the oxidation reduction reaction so the general name for enzymes that catalyze the Uh, that catalyze reactions in which one molecule is oxidized and the other is reduced so enzymes of this type are often called as oxidases reductases and the dehydrogenases example for this can be nad oxidoreductase or cytochrome oxidase next class comes the transferases transferases they remove not only including the hydrogen but uh, from the substrates and transfer them to the acceptor molecule so transferases help in the transfer of chemical groups between the pair of substrates example for this can be hexokinase or you can say the transaminases next comes the cofactor now the additional non protein molecule that is needed by some enzyme to help the reaction are called as cofactor now basically to make an enzyme enzymatically active or you can say enzyme enzyme catalytically uh, catalytically active it needs some non protein constituent which are called as cofactors they tightly the tightly bound cofactors are called as prosthetic groups these prosthetic groups are those cofactors which are organic compounds and are tightly bound to the uh, to the enzymes and cofactors are bound and uh, released easily uh, are called as coenzymes okay so coenzymes are the org- organic molecules which are loosely bounded to the enzyme now many vitamins are the coenzymes next comes the lock and key hypothesis now this lock and key hypothesis is mainly related to the enzyme action the specific action of enzyme with a single substrate this can be 
explained in lock and key hypothesis so in this you can say lock is the enzyme and key is the substrate there is fit between substrate and the active site of the enzyme is exact just like just like a lock and key so like a key fits into the lock very precisely in the same way the enzyme gets fit into the substrate the key is analogous to the enzyme and substrate is analogous to the lock analogous means it's same the temporary structure called as the enzyme substrate complex is formed that means enzyme substrate complex is formed and again it gives the product products have different shape from the substrate once formed they are released from the active site so students in this session we have seen about uh, the introduction of enzymes in further session we will have a more detailed look thank you